Our next speaker is an amazing author, journalist, and activist, Ms. Homa Sasha. In the name of Iran, for whose freedom and honor our hearts beat every day, and in the name of Iranian people, the proud bearer of Women, Life, Freedom slogan. Today we are witnessing a most unique kind of revolution, a revolution led by fearless women inside Iran, demanding their rights, supported by proud and enlightened men of the same nation marching by their side. I have come here today to be the voice of those devastated and heartbroken mothers, fathers, and families mourning the tragic loss of their flesh and blood. Innocent youth whose lives have been cut all too short by the unspeakable inhumanity of government forces. Forces who use all their might to beat the children of Iran with relentless savagery to detain them, to torture them, and to make them disappear without a trace with impunity and the full protection of the government, they answer to no one for their crimes. I have come here today to be the voice of voiceless inside Iran, cut off from all means of communication with the outside world. Those voiceless writers, artists, minorities of all kind, whether sexual, tribal, regional, religious, or intellectuals who have been ruthlessly persecuted, murdered, jailed, tortured, or pres pressured into transparently false public confessions and thereby, thereby humiliated by this deplorable and oppressive regime for over 40 years, simply for having different beliefs, for expressing different views, or just for being different in any way. I have come here to ask President Biden and his administration <laughs> President Biden and his administration not to negotiate with this regime. Yes. They are a bunch of liars and traitors who with no doubt will use any money they get to purchase more arms and kill more Iranian innocent people. Yes! yes! Mr. President, you need to take stronger action and stand. Yes! Human rights must be your priority. Yes! Sanction is necessary, but not enough. We, the Iranian Americans, stand together here at, as the voice of our fellow freedom fighters in Iran who are looking at the United States of America and its freedom lover citizens as well as people of the world and leaders of all nations for their support. We want to draw the attention of this a uh, self-propelled revolution of Iranian women and to raise awareness about the oppression they endured day in and day out. An oppression that today has grown even more ruthless than it has been for the past 40 plus years. I have come here today to voice my complaint against the United Nations. Yes. Yes. institution that has not only failed to bar entry to a known murderer named Ibrahim Raisi presently hiding under the title of the President of the Islamic Republic but one that has further given him a global podium by inviting him to speak before the UN General Assembly. Shame on United Nations! The very same institution 
that has consi uh, constantly failed for decades even to assemble a team of delegates to investigate the conditions of political and ideological prisoners who have been tortured, unjustly imprisoned, and regularly murdered by the authorities of the Islamic Republic year after year after endless year. We all come here today to stand united in echoing the voice of our courageous and tireless Iranians inside and outside Iran, whose only wish is to definitely downfall of the Islamic Republic regime yes. and the establishment Amen. of democracy, freedom, justice, and equal rights for all citizens of Iran with a national constitution founded on the mandate of Universal Declaration of Human Rights. I have come here today to say loudly and clearly that the people of Iran have long been more than patient and that today their patience have run out. With this autocratic, self-serving, fanatic and barbaric regime, the overthrow of this government is the ultimate goal of all of us. Yeah. 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 And I am using the full force of my voice and my pen, the only sword I bear, to make sure that their messages reach the eyes and ears of every last person on earth. And finally, I have come here to say that I am all too aware of the long and unpredictable road that stands between the people of Iran and their ultimate goal. Yet, I know beyond doubt that neither those Iranians inside Iran nor those uh, abroad will rest until this swell of uprisings finally and definitely topples the regime. And democracy, and democracy liberation of women from mandatory hijab, freedom of speech, freedom of choice, freedom of thought, and separation of religion and state. And equality for all in the eyes of the law rule over our motherland. That day is not far. That day is not far. Yeah. Yeah. Iran, stand strong as we all stand for you and with you and by you. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes. Long live Iran, women, life, freedom. Please join me to say that name. Mahsa Amini. Mahsa Amini. Mahsa Amini. Mahsa Amini. Mahsa Amini. Mahsa Amini. We are all Mahsa Amini. Mahsa Amini. Mahsa Amini. Mahsa Amini. Mahsa Amini. Thank you.